there's so many cases that keep trying to mute us down here. We're going to keep talking, okay? I'm going to piss everybody off because they're all a bunch of rapists. This one was from, this guy started back in the 90s. He's a, I believe, probably a Gen X asshole. Let me see this. This one is insane. You cannot tell me, looking at this guy, that you cannot tell that he's a total pedo. This is what I was talking about, like, their face things. I was like, okay, this is going to be that guy where people back then were like, he's, like, gay or something. And I was like, no, you'll, you might misinterpret, you might misinterpret what you're reading. Because um, I'll tell you right now, like, you look at him, you go, oh, no, that's not a guy that would be with an adult. Okay, regardless if he likes men or women, anything, right? So there was something with this. And then they showed his 90s picture, and it made this whole worse, right? Because I could tell right away. I don't know. I'm telling you, there's a thing in the face. It'll look everything. I don't know. It's a baby face thing. Well, look at it. So they go like this. A former uh, kids club employee. I don't know what that place is. N Nishimi Kids Club. But it says who was already charged with sexual assaulting six boys. Is like now facing new charges, right? An investigation by Middletown Township Police found that 41-year-old Gerald Spato sexually assaulted a seventh victim. Okay, 41 um, is that the cusp of a millennial? Okay, but regardless, they were raised at a time that they were promoting rape, and then they ignored it, and then uh, this is at the time period where they're like, you can't rape boys, so basically they can rape anybody. Basically, that's really the thing about this. And then I would never have this guy near anyone. Just, I would look at him and go, I wouldn't allow him around my kids. Like, it's just that thing, right? And they go, police say that the latest victim was 11 when the abuse started in 2021, right? Once a rapist, always a rapist. And he already got busted, right? Okay, he was already... Okay, well, he got charged. So, I would have to go back to the initial story, like, when it came up and, you know, that whole thing. But anyway, a new case of this happened with an 11-year-old. Then they go... The previous sexual assault charges stem from alleged assaults two decades ago when police say he worked for an after-school program at Herbert Hoover Elementary School. Investigators say that that's where Spotto met and groomed his victims who were as young as seven, right? And in America, they had once let it be legal to go after seven-year-olds, seven-year-olds. And then, I don't know, somebody was trying to make this argument that they did that because then they put the death penalty up. Like, I don't understand. There was some weird thing about it. I go, you know what? There's no justification for that at all. <laughs> like, just period. And so, this is, those are the ages, okay? So, it was always, like, seven was the youngest that i have read so far and then um i think there were times where there was just no age of consent like you have to go back into history and then like there was times that it kind of shifted around but it was still for children right they were still like legalizing raping 12 year olds all these things um so he and then friday there was three felony counts of involuntary deviant sexual intercourse two counts each of indecent assault of a person less than 13 and indecent assault on a person less than 16 and one count of corruption of minors and unlawful contact with the minor um they keep trying to say it's okay to you know rape like there's some different thing if your birthday lands right when you're 16 and turning 17 it's the same um, all these laws are made by rapists, and so it's all a cluster F, you know what. It's, it's horrible. Like, I'm just reading it, I'm just like, it's nonsensical, really, at the end of the day. Um, but he said he was also charged with 274 counts of photographing or filming a child sex act and 275 counts of possess possession of child pornography, all felonies. But what exactly is pornography? So... We have a problem with this term because while nothing's really about sex generally, it's about power and control and like what he wants because he's a socio. Um, there's a lot of things that they consider porn for themselves that is not technically what you would look at and say is porn. So it's kind of a choice of the perpetrator. And so when they're going at this, they're kind of like, oh, well, they also consider it more, it's worse to have that than actually raping children because they allowed it and let them rape kids and then wanted to marry them off to them. But for some reason, if you had the photo of it, 
uh, where they legalize them to rape you, um, you're going to go to prison. Like, it's just it's the stupidest crap I've ever heard. But also, they're ignoring the other photographs uh, of what other perpetrators like, which then becomes their porn, right? So, it's that thing. So, I was like, yeah, we have a major problem right here because they know, like, if I take photos like this, it's going to be bad. But if I go and just take some photos of just some other oddball thing that you guys are totally ignorant to, um, they're like, it's totally fine and legal, and then it's um, entertaining them, okay? Um, authorities say he was denied bill. He's a flight risk as he is in the process of selling his home. And then a preliminary hearing February 27th. Uh, he's a, he's a, more than a flight risk. He's a risk to just, you need to watch him because he already knows he's like never coming home, that thing. So then it's like, they believe there may be more victims. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was, watch when they showed his photo, I was like, oh, hell no. The public is idiots. I was like, yes, this is the guy we're talking about. Like when you a go former Bucks look County at him. Child care worker. Wait, I'm going to mute it because I don't even want to hear him talk. Okay, so the, let me find it. It's in here. It's in here. It's in here. All right, you, you would trust this guy, this one right here. Do you guys see what I'm saying? There's this baby face thing, right? And some of these guys have those little earring things on. I go, you're going to get thrown off and think, oh, you know, this is just like some gay guy. It's like, oh, no, um, he may be gay, right? He may be gay, but that, that's not, that's not what I'm picking up. Can you guys please look at this? Like, I was like, that's the same guy, right? I don't know. I go, they put this picture. Wait, let me let me pull this up again. Because I was like, this guy right here? Let me see something. This is just insanity. I am going to take this off. Wait. Club. He provided after-school care at Herbert Hoover Elementary School. Investigators say that's where Spado met and groomed his victims who were as young. That's what they do. They throw that picture next to each other. Like, I'm pretty sure that's a picture of him from like way long. Ago. I don't know because he ain't oh, looking like no. that. But but in the pictures you could tell on both. See, I can't get this thing to stay on the damn screen. Um, but you could tell in the face. Like I don't know. I can't explain it to you guys. It's like child, child, childlike, childlike. I don't know why that is. I've been talking about it. I go, I don't know, but you literally don't, don't like misinterpret it as just like some gay guy. Okay. I was like that dude right there. I would have never let around kids. And it's not, it's not a thing. The, the gender preference doesn't matter whether someone's going to be a total rapist. Okay. Or go after kids with that particular one. Um, I don't know why, like, there's a thing where, like, because uh, maybe the early abuses where they're, like, stuck as a kid. Or it's the addition of maybe they're autistic. I don't know, some other thingy in it. Like, I don't know the answer to it. I just know I see it. And when I see it, it's like, bing, 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 alert from their face. And I keep trying to show it. And they were trying to, like, I don't know if it was that social media was, like, freaking out because they're so stupid and idiotic. And then they just let all these pedos, like, go rape their kids. And then, like, they think it's, I don't know if they're thinking it's hokey. It's not. Um, because I can literally identify them, like, all the freaking time that look like that. I go, that one right there, I was like, yeah, no, that one, the minute, the hot minute that guy come up to me, I'd be like, no, you ain't getting around no children. But they didn't care because even if I said, oh, if you go back into the 90s and I go, oh, that guy's going to touch some little boys. They're like, oh, you know, you can't rape no boys. They, they, they won't want it, you know. They wouldn't even listen. That's what I was saying. I go, they were everywhere and there was this group of them and they were saying if they look like this, then a certain, there was like a, I don't know if it was just uh, because the club of those guys, um, they try to look all manly and masculine, but they were like totally into kids. And they're like, you need to be aware of those, those biker guys. There was a groups of them and it's true. So then I pointed it out and then they, there was a group of them that got violent and they wanted to come beat me up online. It was all crazy. I was like, uh, yeah, but you guys are well known for human trafficking and raping kids. So I mean, that's just the his history of a lot of those people. So it was just like, oh, what? Uh, because I'm saying the truth. It's like, if you, hey, like, don't call me what I am, you know? Okay, so I do want to point out the age of consent in the state of Pennsylvania. Because every state is different and they're all um, going after kids just regardless. Okay, so it's a 16-year-old state. 
and they can legally consent to sexual activity. It is considered a felony statutory sexual assault when, um, I don't know, I have to pull that up more, but Pennsylvania also recognizes that power imbalances in certain relationships make consent impossible regardless of age. But you're considering a 16-year-old an adult? Okay, well, first off, I'm going to say this. In this case that we're talking about right now, so I'm just adding this in because I forgot it. Um, they were 15 years old to be watching other kids. So they're not even old enough for the age of consent part in this thing at all, which means they're not an adult. Um, even according to their bullshit right here. Um, but they need to up their AOC as well. Um, yeah, because some people are questioning this. They go, actually, it's really interesting because he's preying on kids really young. But at the same time, like, he's technically not an adult. And so I think for kids, like, even that type of situation there uh, tends to get blown off even more than if it was, like, an adult teacher or somebody else a lot older, right? Okay, yeah, so for some other information in this. So the allegations go back to 97, which means he was between the ages of 14 and 15 in that year, depending on when he started working for that school thing. I find it odd, but I am going to say back in the 80s and 90s, they had kids watching kids, which was never really a good idea. I mean, I was a good babysitter, but we're still kids, and there's some things that could happen that we're not really um, knowledgeable about as children. But also, you would put a teenage boy from back then who was, they were all rapists. <laughs> they literally were back in the 90s. Yeah, and I would never let that happen. So they put him in some school, a 15, a 14 to 15 year old boy. And that's the age when that um, sociopath thing pops up. That's what I've been saying. That thing right there popped up. So then they started doing stuff to the little kids. Yeah, it's just another Josh Duggar type of dude, right? Yeah, they were a danger. I guess because uh, maybe the whole thing was that other kids were harmed from them. And, you know, the street talk, you know. So it was just one of those things that was in the mix of everything else going on. And you're just talking and these things come up. And you're just like, oh, you got to be careful of these people of this thing going on over here or that thing going on over there and i'm sure there's a million things i long forgot about like somebody would have to bring it up and it's going to jog my memory i'm going to be like, oh that's right yeah that did happen you know or some other thing i have like very strong memories of certain incidents and things you know that were said but there was so much in between that it's like i don't even know there's just so much bad mm -hmm. yeah most of them are going back in the 90s it's like two decades ago well, two decades ago, we're in 2024 and 14 in 2004. That's two decades ago. But then they said in the 90s. So he would have been. I told you they're all bad, you guys. They're all bad. They're going to. That's why. Okay. So another country. I was so annoyed. I thought that was a person laying on the ground, Cecile. Oh. <laughs> no, it looked like a person laying in the street. Um, oh, I think it's in Slovak, Slovak, Slovakia. I don't know. Something, something. There was a guy, uh, this political guy, and they fight. They fought to like, uh, like close the time limit for rape. And I go, the guy was such a rapist. He, the, his argument, and I go, you have to be careful what they're saying because it's just him saying, I, I'm a rapist. I don't want to go to prison. So he's like, oh, what ridiculousness, these women making up stuff in America. Yeah, they used America as, like, an example and tried to say that the women getting, like, Harvey going to prison, um, making it up and ruining men's career. Like, he totally went on this thing. I go, oh, who did he rape? He's like, oh, no, no, not 20 years ago, dude. We need to close this gap. It's him, it's him spouting off, like. I'm scared that I'm going to go to prison, you know, because I did something 20 years ago and he probably still does it now. Right. But he's like, he has a memory of something and he's freaking out. And basically what they do is they go throw it right onto the victim. Oh, they're lying. Uh, this, oh shit. I'm going to go to prison because I raped someone in high school and, um, I never got busted for it. And I go, yeah, wait, have you, I go, wait till that guy, I was like, 
How was I saying it? I go, that guy will never say that he is freaking out over victims' careers being destroyed, right? That's not a thing that's going to come out of him because he's a rapist. But he's trying to present himself as, like, some type of victim to something where he's not. And then, um, and I'm an innocent person. I didn't rape anybody. And you don't hear actual victims and ones that have, like, never done those crimes sitting there freaking the hell out, like, saying this garbage, right? But in the addition of what he's saying, he's like, I hate women so much. They're all garbage and they're liars. Like, that's the addition into how he's approaching it. So I was like, yeah, he's just admitting that he raped a whole bunch of people and he doesn't want to get caught and go to prison. So he fought to lower the time limit over wherever it's at in that other country i was like that's insanity i'm reading this crap right now what was pissing me off about it is that the arguing party you know the defense to you know try not to get this law passed or something like that they were believing his argumentation i go no he's a lying sociopath they literally say anything under the sun to steer you off as to why he's going not that he's not gonna sit there and say oh i raped somebody 20 years ago i don't want to go to prison what he's trying to do is go oh my victims are a bunch of liars and we need to cut this out now no we shouldn't have we shouldn't get in trouble for our conduct I was like, have you heard any guys sit there and say this crap? He's like, uh, that murder was like 30 years ago. That was a long time ago. We should just ignore it. Like it wasn't a crime then, you know, even, even the thing is, is that the men made it legal. So nobody could sit there and stop the criminal behavior of rapist men. You just can't. And so you have to come in and be able to change that around. And they weren't letting women into the sphere to be able to do it. And then they're all groomed. And so then it takes a long time to get out of grooming. And then to realize, oh, they promoted and groomed us to be raped. And then, yeah, I'm a victim. Yeah, so that's what's going on there. And why you would have this other lag about it. It wasn't even out of fear that they didn't go to the cops. Like, they make up all kinds of stories about this. So I went to the cops a million times, right? So then they promote rape, and so then they change it around and don't do anything, right? They don't make arrests. They, they're out raping everybody. But there's another group of people where they didn't even consider themselves getting raped. And so then to go tell who? Like, they're like, uh, you know, my mom told me it's my fault because I went to a party and I drank. You know, some bullshit like that, right? So then they wouldn't even step forward on it they may they may internally go two different ways it's either they know that they can't say anything because no one's going to do anything but or the other is that they just totally normalized it and those are the people that'll allow it on anybody because they're like oh it's totally fine that some like adult man like totally did that so i'll let it happen to my son and my daughter because you know we all had that happen you know so, so the, and also do it to, to others, right? Because you'll see some of these women, they're like, oh, I got this like 14 year old from a high school. Yeah, those ones. Okay. Then you have this guy. I don't know the answer to this guy. I've been trying to figure this guy out in this story because I was like, yeah, there's this group of them where like, I just know right away. I go, it's a baby face thing. I don't know why they have the baby face. I don't know. I don't know what the, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't just be like, I mean, the genetic component would just be that mm, they may be immature in the brain, like a development thing. It wouldn't be the thing that's causing them to go then and go rape some kids. It's like some other addition or it's just that that's uh, because they're, because they're trying to appeal to children that they look like that, but it's sort of like they can't help it. Because no matter what they do, they can get a beard, they could do anything. You can't get rid of that look. And it's icky. And I I don't know what's causing it. Like, I don't know. But I was trying to point it out to a lot of people. I go, it's there. It's a real thing. This guy has it. And every time I see it, I go, I'm going to point it out. I'm going to show you. It's right here. I go, do not confuse it for just some normal gay guy. I go, don't. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> because I'm serious. You need to ask yourself, like, just ask yourself the question. I do it automatically. It's just like, I already know. Flag, boom. It's there. But look, I go, does that look like somebody that literally would be in, with an adult? An adult, anyone. Male, female, anything. I don't know, but they're not catching it. And they're like, here, go put them with my sons. 
I'm like, these people are reckless. Anybody that's sitting there hiring these people like that. See, this is what happens when you don't have, you don't care about rape or anything like that. And then you're sitting there fake crusading that this is such a huge problem and you care about it and you want to put them all to death. It's like, you're kind of part of the problem. You're the one that hired him to begin with. You're the one that ignores all the flags and everything under the sun. You're the one that promotes this conduct on all of us. So that's why it, this is going on. I mean, it's just that. I would never let that guy near any kid. That's just it. I'd see him and be like, oh, no, 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 no. I wish I, I when I pull it up, I want to look at it while I'm talking about it because it's just, uh, do you think, okay, so can you imagine that guy even being, okay, even right now in that picture right there, that he'd be with some adult woman, uh, not me, uh, not, I don't know who. It was some gay guy, no way. In fact, he's got like this Ted Bundy look in the eyes here. But he still has a baby thing going on. And mostly, I don't know what the fuck that early picture is. The, the news throws shit up like this and you're just like, what is your... Right there. This thing. I wouldn't trust him near anyone. Baby face. Do you not see it? Like, I, I think you guys are crazy. If you can't pick that up. I'm like, it's the same guy, right? He just looked complete. Yeah, it is the same guy. He has the same thing on his eye. Look, that thing right there, that thing right there. He cover up the rest of his neck right here. But, yeah. This is just him. He was overweight. Now, if you look at him, do you guys think that maybe he might be autistic in a mix? I'm just wondering because there is a genetic something, something going on with these ones. We're trying to figure it out. We're trying to figure it out. I kn It's there. It is absolutely there. And I go, he, like, they don't develop right in the face. Like, it's almost like, I was trying to explain the Josh Jugger thing, because I go, he has it too, where it looks like the rest of their body is, like, matured, but their face, like, doesn't mature. Like, they have that baby Goo Goo Gaga face. Like, I don't know what the hell that is. It's there. It's real. It's a thing. Um, see, they don't go into the thing, like, does he have mental disabilities? Like, something in addition to the learning, it could be part of a learning process, like, it's affecting that. But again, it would not be a thing where it's like, yeah, go rape some kids. Like, it just could be because his relatability is with a two-year-old. I mean, I don't know the answer to it, you guys. I'm just speculating, uh, what that thing is because I think it's important to identify it and definitely these are the easy ones where you don't even need to ask any questions you're like okay yeah it's nice meeting you hell no you ain't getting around my kids you put kid club employee and then this face and you go oh yeah total pedo right wouldn't you just say it just generally like you wouldn't even need to read the story if you looked at me you would probably go oh pedo like you should I don't know other people are not doing it and I guess because I was such a victim to a million of them, it's like, oh, yeah, I mean, it's just the easy identifier. I'm just like, boom, boom, show me a picture, boom, boom, that, that one, this one, that one. Again, I'm just trying to break it down for you guys to think about this, like just dissecting that process that I go through. That's like real quick. It's in instantaneously. Goo goo gaga face. And then it goes into a little Ted buddy over there. Like he wears a beard. I think this is hilarious. These guys try to hide all that shit. This thing here, like, ugh. I don't know. that. that but that's the problem with it. Let me see something on the early story, like what happened prior to this, because I think people should be held accountable for not judging these people by their looks. They want to judge people for wearing all black and calling him Satanist, but yet I could literally tell this guy's a total pedo, and they're like, he's totally fine. Okay, former Bucks County child care worker i i don't know why the it's kind of weird though because the anti-gay thing from back then right even in the 90s because it says like 90s stuff uh okay 97 yeah that they were so um discriminatory just even if they thought you were gay and here they're just like oh yeah this guy's totally fine Okay, so they say he sexually abused at least six boys from 1997 to 2004. And the, okay, so through, and I was already talking in 2001, we're going to remind everybody and how the public was pro-rape then, and so they were not even on the guy thing. Okay, so this is terrible. They go, through his work at the school, 
at a summer camp and babysitting. I Again, I would not have ever let this guy near any kids and definitely not babysitting, not summer camp. Um, and or nor work at a school and but they would probably I mean I could see him trying to throw him as a janitor But I still know um, Some of his some of the crimes first came to light in 2013. Oh, see 2013 But investigators at the time said the victims weren't ready to come forward Yeah, okay, so I'm here for you victims <laughs> I was like, We're just talking about the promotion of how men promoted this crap so, you know, obviously, if you're a kid, you weren't part of the, the, the promotion of raping some children in 2013, you know, at these time periods in, in 97, like your seven year old or 13 year old, right? So you're dealing with the public, though, your parents that were promoting us to get raped at the time. And this is a millennial. Is he millennial? He's close to millennial Gen X because it's like night. Okay, yeah, so 1980. Yeah, I think he's right at the cusp, uh, right at the beginning of a millennial, which was a really bad time because this is when the school shootings were coming up into being, right, at this period. And so his upbringing was during the uh, 80s portion there. Maybe around 83. Yeah, so he was raised in that period where they were promoting rape and didn't say the word rape. And they absolutely disregarded men. Absolutely. It was like men run around, little boys run around half naked. And, oh, don't mind that summer camp counselor touching y'all because, you know, it's just what guys do. <laughs> it's like, what? And I could pull out every comment from these men that were like, "We, how can you rape guys? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. They told all women that. That's what's so disgusting about it. I was like, so women just run with it. It's just like, they said it to every female. It's like, you can't really do that. I mean, yeah, it's like, that's not a thing, you know, because they're all a bunch of rapists. It's interesting because the viewpoint is that they're a bunch of rapists, because they are. But at the same time, it's like, why are they rapists and they still could rape each other? Like, there's this other thing about it. And so it was a back and forth. It's a back and forth thing where it was like, we promote rape, uh, don't complain about getting touched, be a man, suck it up, uh, we're gonna rape our sons into manhood, and we're gonna just rape and rape and rape. Everything was about rape. And I was like, oh my god, I, cause I remember they were like, oh, I go, yeah, some of these guys got raped, but, uh, definitely not to the extent that women were, um, but as I'm going through the cycle of it i was like no i think they all were raped and then they became rapists because every story i'm pulling up i'm looking i'm trying is my best to look at the initial early portions and in the initial early portions it's like the parents were like sexually abusing the kids in some which way shape or form which they called normal at the time which was not normal and it was a form of sexual abuse and so then um oh yeah then the addition with the fathers trying to get their sons raped into manhood that's nuts okay so that's the addition and that stuff and so i was like yeah no they were rapists i mean they were rapists they're just being taught to be rapists basically so i think it's in everybody's early years it's just who the hell's coming out going yeah my daddy touched me like a million times over uh there's been some people that have been very brave to talk about that. I thought it was important to talk about. And then, yeah, I mean, there's a lot to be said with it. You could look back in your own childhood and go, yeah, I would consider some of these things like a type of sexual abuse. Um, but it was more or less filed as just general child abuse. But in it would be considered sexual abuse. They were so limited in, on asking kids back then about what is molestation or any other things. It was very limited. It was just like, it has to be like this or that. And anything outside that is totally fine. Me putting my hand down, you know, in front of their crotch is totally fine. It's not rape. And then taking photos with it like that and doing all this stuff and macking down on babies, you know, the presidents, you know, doing stuff like that. Where they just like normalize being touched all the time. 
that when kids are being touched all the time and you ask them, did somebody touch you wrong? They're like, no, that's just like everybody molests me all the time. What are you talking about? Like that thing right there. And so, um, it's, 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 while well, well, right now it's a little hard to say like what the general count is, uh, it's probably just, uh, equal to, but the promotion of rape is on females. So, but if you promote rape generally, it's like you're a damn rapist. So you wouldn't be against raping some boys, you know, you need that information in order to really tackle this problem and understand it in its totality. And so of course you want to meet me because I know the most about it, I guess. Cause I'm, I don't know. It's just the funniest thing. It's like everything I've said has been true so far and I'm getting it because the victims have been coming forward. I'm not making it up. It's that they're helping me out to see the bigger picture of it all. And it's good. It's good that they're stepping up right here. No, there's just no way in hell that you wouldn't know that guy is a total pedo. There just isn't. I'm not even gonna give people this excuse, dude. I go, I'm looking at the guy and I'm just like, no way. Why would you think that that guy's totally normal? I just, I want to know from the public, the Christian ignorant public, because that's who this 1997 was at that time. Um, like, who, why, why would you look at that guy and go, oh, he looks totally safe? That, that, I want to ask that question. He looks like, on top of it, he looks like that loner guy that was, like, the ones, like, people are going to try to say, like, oh, because he was bullied, he started molesting kids. That is literally not how that goes. Um... But I would want to ask, like, the peers of him in school, like, what was, what was the actions there? What, he was childlike? Was there a thing there? Because I'm reading the childlike thing. And then they go into fields where they're like, I only love children so much. I wouldn't trust no man going, I love a bunch of children. I want to go hang out with them. Those are those ones that are like, I want to hang at Disneyland all the time. And these girls are all childlike, you know, like, now they may not be into children, but they're into, you know, Disneyland in this way. And, you know, I love the princess, the fantasy of this thing. And then, and then they find some guy that's like, I love Disneyland too. And then they're off using them as prey to go prey on these little kids. But there has been some females out here that went on like that too. Uh, just, uh, just still not at the numbers that these men do. They, and when I see them, I pull it up. I pull it up. But it's like one in every bazillion stories. Yeah, they just pulled up. They pulled up one today, and it had like three par three sentences or something. It was this like beastly woman who literally, you could tell, has a developmental disability. And maybe that's the thing with this guy, too. Um, but like you could tell there's something off with her. Like they keep doing this. I go, yes, there's something off with that woman. And then she, I guess, tried to rape and rob and murder some guy. I don't know, dude. It was crazy. They had like three sentences though, and the picture of her is like, oh yeah, totally. You could tell it that she did that. <laughs> I don't know. It was like that. She's like this larger woman, but she looked kind of, um, I don't know if she's special needs, but it was a little something like that. But the way they present it isn't proper. So, okay, if it's a person with special needs, like they should actually put the additions in it to, so people can understand the uh everything going on with that person right um the you know but for men when it happens they go oh he's struggling with mental health issues it's like what the hell is that he's a sociopath J oh the guy that literally tried to murder the judge oh my god we all watched this video of him like flying over the desk and um yeah they're like he He's like, yeah, I was so mad, I wanted to murder. And they're just like, oh, he's struggling with mental health issues. I was like, he's a total socio. He's violent. And he knew what he was doing. He's like, I just want to murder the judge. She totally disrespected me. Like, this whole thing. It's like, they make excuses like that for guys. But for the women, there was no thing on there with that girl. I go, I could tell you right now, she's like special needs. Like something, some developmental thing. And so they should let you know that. Because anyone that there's been a couple of them like that there was a case on tv too where the that uh she was a woman of color and they're like oh she was such a lovely kid we loved her to jet and i'm looking at her and i'm like there's something wrong with her like you could tell there's something wrong with her i don't know what but i'm looking at her i'm like she looks um special in a way that 
uh, maybe development. I don't know. I don't know what happened. So then she goes and she murders a lady. Okay, so I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. And they're like, we don't understand why she do like this. She, you know, this thing. I go, she was a socio, but I don't know. But she has an addition, and I don't know what that addition is. Some, some sort of um, developmental thing. I don't know what happened to her as a kid because I think she got. I think she, like they took care of her, and her parents didn't. Like the mom didn't originally. I don't know. Adopt it. I don't know. Something weird. But anyway, they show it like that, and they're and they try to present them as like normal people but they were not normal like they had some addition in it but it's important to bring that addition up because maybe somebody else has a kid with that or you know um but to me when i'm looking at it i go in order to be like that how, maybe maybe there was abuse at the house like you, you know you don't know that stuff and 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 in addition to them having maybe some learning to disabilities right so in our early childhood, they mixed us all up together on a bus. I was like, that was weird because I didn't even understand, like, the difference between that at the time when I was, like, six or seven, like, when we were going into first grade. They mixed us up on the bus with special needs kids, and I was like, well, we didn't know. I was just like, oh, this kid's, like, totally different. And then they were trying to pick on that kid, and then they tried to get me and them this whole other setup. And I go, yeah, those kids should have got totally busted because they got us, they tried to bully us both. And then on a later thing, I was talking about the fire alarm thing. I go, I didn't even know that kid was special needs. Like, he was just like walked in and me and my brother were like, hey, dude, you want to do this one thing? He's like, okay. And then later, it was later that we realized that he had um, learning disabilities. So he would have done anything. It was kind of messed up. It was, it was not, it was not, it makes me feel like a Ted Bundy. <laughs> like, you know, I could tell him to go do something. He goes and does it. And he literally waited. Oh, man. No, but later he did get in trouble. I, my friend told me that he got arrested for doing a sex crime to himself in a vehicle in a baby car seat. And I was like, oh, man. Um, when we're talking about stuff like that, um, I don't believe that they have the capacity to know exactly what they're doing. Because I had the experience with him as a kid when we just told him to do something. And we just thought it was a regular kid. I mean, it was just some kid that walked in and go, oh, we know him. It was like, hey, would you do this? <laughs> like, but, um, I mean, we're talking at six. Like, what do you know at six? But when you're talking later, like, this is in his adulthood. I was like, yeah, no, he had major, um, uh, he's a special needs kid of a sort. And there was a lot of things back then that they didn't uh, view... Like, they didn't identify autism then, and they didn't identify probably a whole lot of things then. And they may have abused that kid. Uh, yeah, like, he may have been sexually abused as a kid, and they can't really tell you anything. Like, they think it's fine. It's a weird thing. I go, so those ones, those ones would be not quite in the class necessarily of the mentality of somebody that um, has a a normal brain going on there okay so their their crimes would be more because of possibly sexual abuse in his childhood from the family he was it could have been from anything could be from another teacher it could have been from somebody i don't know i can't tell you yeah it, but it's one of those things that i know damn well they did they didn't have the capacity to make proper decisions and then it was like later in life, then he gets arrested for some crazy thing like that. And I'm like, well, why is he doing it? I don't, I don't even know if it's factually true, but that's what they told me. And so I was like, well, oh, and then they put it in the newspaper. So in our hometown, like if you did any crime, they just put your name in the paper and say what you did. And so apparently they made that and I go, oh, that's crazy, dude. I was like that one right there. But at the same time, it was allegedly not. Uh, the story that they told me allegedly it wasn't that he was hurting anybody it was that it was kind of an obscene bizarre act um i don't know but mm -hmm. so when i'm talking about stuff it's hard to bring them into it without talking about them in a different way i don't want to put this guy in that same category but i think that there's an addition in his thing for these specific ones i don't know what it is though I don't know if 
having autism would make you have a baby face. I haven't seen that. Uh, usually when I'm running across that, oh, it was so sweet. I was in the store one day and I was like, I probably am autistic too. I'm just high functioning. But the, the guy is like going around and he, and, and oh, the father with his son and his, I had this one shirt on. I had this like cartoony like artwork and the, the guy stood up in front of me and he's like, oh, I really love that. I go, oh, I could tell right now a guy's autistic. And he totally loved it. And I was like, oh, my God, we're like the same. And then I was like, I wouldn't even look up. I was like, yeah, I was like, we're having a moment. We're having a moment with each other. But he was kind of barely function. I would say um, he can't function like I do. I do need to get a check just so I can let people know, like, leave me the fuck alone. You guys keep picking on kids. OK, I was like, you guys keep picking on all these kids. So he was barely functioning like he could talk, but he needs assistance, right? Like somebody would totally take advantage of him. So if somebody like that started doing something to somebody, it would more or less have to do with um, the environment that he's in, possibly abuse in the family or just a general neglect of how they're raising him because he has... Um, development issues you know like learning things and all that uh, it's not like they're out there going i'm trying to get control and power and totally molest everybody like there's those ones where like i don't even think i don't think they're capable of that kind of thinking um but i don't know like there's like like i said there's a lot in it where it's like if we're breaking it down to certain things like that um that I think it could be more or less blamed on the just the general environment and the caretaking. But this, this is like a Josh Duggar. So if you went into that Ger Gerald Spada's background, what is what is the you need you need that information? That's why I keep saying I go that information is so important to understand how we got a Gerald, okay? Because we got we got a Jared from subway we got all these one hey i him too with the baby thing that's why i said i go we got these ones and i go i want more information on that because josh totally had that thing i don't know what the hell it is i want to know what it is they they i don't know they're acting like they don't the other the mm, i think there was like one or two in that genetic pool that had that uh i can't say what they've been doing um but the other ones i didn't see had that I was looking at the entire family. I mean, they have so many in that spawn. <laughs> they have so many spawn. Uh, but his was like the most prevalent. There was, I think, one, one other one that had it. And what he has done, I have no idea. It's like, let me tell you. It's like, you have pedo face. Have you touched any kids? Like, you can't do it like that. It's like, you just kind of, like, got to sit back and see what those people are doing. And if they get caught for those things, then I'm going to question it even more. I was like, but they had it, but maybe it doesn't equal to that they're going to go be a child molester. And they just may have a a, a developmental thing where they, they're kind of childlike, but they're not all going to go molest kids. I don't know. I can't answer it. I just know if i seen it, I still wouldn't let them around kids. No. I mean, what, we're going to take a chance? I don't know anybody that would have let any random guys anyway babysit their kids back then. I, I know they were really funny even with me because they didn't like... Here's a funny thing. Like, I was a really good babysitter and it was like my first job. And one day, I forgot who gave me the job. Somebody referred me to a lady around the block. And so I would go watch their kid. And one day I had some artwork because I'm an art student and I like drew something on the side of my face. Like today, like people literally get tattoos on their face all over the place, right? But I took a, a, a eyeliner thing and I put like a, just a swirly mark. Sometimes I put hearts. Sometimes I put initials. Sometimes, you know, just some crazy stuff because I'm an art student. That's just it. I did whatever I wanted and really heavily into fashion then. So then, um, yeah, so one day I went over there and then she's like, um, does she have a tattoo on her eye? Like she, they started totally, um, looking at me like I'm a bad person and like I'm Satan and all this. So then they were like, yeah, I don't think we want you anymore. Yeah. That's what they did just based on that.
But then um, my manager at our job, um, when I worked in fast food, like she had a kid. And then I think it was them that had me watch their kid. Somebody did. Somebody else let me watch their kid. So I had to watch her kid. I was like totally freaked out because it was like a little infant. And um, no, but I was totally good with kids, really good with kids. And um, but I'm saying that they were they were really extra careful. Like they look they were judging me how I dress, basically like that thing where they were being like that. But they're not judging me like, oh, they think I'm going to go do something to their kid like this thing. And who, but nobody, it was kind of almost like unheard of that you would have a guy come and babysit your kids because all the guys were out here raping everybody. And the thought of doing that, other than I guess they thought, oh, it'll be safe if a guy is babysitting some boys, therefore they're safe. And you still kind of hear the sentiment when they keep going this bullshit about the bathroom. I'm like, there's girls, though, that prey on other girls, so it doesn't stop them from raping other girls. It doesn't stop these men from raping other guys. So it, the whole concept of them, how they're trying to say, I want to feel safe bullshit is garbage. Because there's been a bunch of girls that are talking about how some other females did something. And I was saying our other friends were the ones that were trying to set everybody else to get freaking raped from people. And I'm sitting here like, the, the combo, the topic of this, they keep looking at it as just being a sex act. It's not a sex act. It has to do with power and the mentality of all that stuff. But it's, again, there's a lot of child abuse and the parents are raping their own kids. And because of that, there's a lot of conduct that kids are doing because of the home life. And they're not going in and stopping it. And so you have to be really aware of that and stop it as soon as you know about it otherwise you have monsters for days like this guy he's a non-fixable piece of crap i'm just looking at the guy and i'm just in there going he wanted to be part of a kids club and i would be like yeah that's nice dude no way in hell <laughs> maybe the problem is that you trust everyone too because it's like i mean you entrust your children to individuals employed by the school so you can work you have full faith they're going to be in good hands. And this person was truly just a predator waiting to prey on these kids. It's like, that's yes. And that's the same thing with the cops. It's the same thing. The teachers are the big one. I have pulled out so many teacher cases. Like I could pull them out all day long, like all day long, these teachers. But the addition to it is in the States where a lot of these things are happening, they legalize for these adults to go at kids. It's like a conflict of interest here. Like you're literally one, one hand going, Oh, you could go rape the kids at that age. And then another hand, they're saying they're going, oh, well, if you're a teacher, you can't touch them. It's like, but outside that, you can go touch all the kids as long as that kid is not at the school. It's like, this is bullshit. More than 17 years ago. So it's like, who else did he do that to? It's not like, oh, you know, for the short period of time, I'm going to go molest some kids and then I'm going to stop working at the schools. And then like, I'm just not going to do it anymore. Like, if that's not a thing. So I, I, I'm afraid. Let me see. So I'm going to do a little research here. Oh my God. This guy is a nightmare. Like I was like, there's no way in hell you do not know this guy's a socio. Like there's none. He has that creepy. It's like a combo of things. He has that little baby thing going. He has the, um, when I was talking about those serial killers where I was like, I think they might have autism with it and it's all weird and creepy and they're just dark and scary. This guy. And then his whole thing is like him with children and he goes by he goes by the nick of gerald that thing i think it's like jerry i was looking for him and i go don't tell me there's another guy that's just as creepy because i was like with the same name and i'm looking i go well he has the same um mark on the side of his eye and then they showed an older picture and i go oh that's the same one how weird and um Oh, hell no. The eyes, the the eyes, you guys. He has the black eye thing going a little bit, like that weird eye thing. And then it's all pictures with him with babies. Oh, my God. I, I've never seen. No. Uh-uh. No way. No. His eyes are whack as hell, dude. I love my godfather. I remember when those glasses were too small for your face. Holy crap, dude. Yeah, because he was a really large guy at one point. And then all of a sudden, like, maybe the narcissism in him. Like, he's like, I, I'm going to start looking like this. 
And then he take is that the same oh gosh. What do they say? Are these like why are you so serious? That's what they put. He looks hella creepy in this picture. I don't know why I look so serious. I'll smile in my next one. Yeah, there's something off with them. Like that's what I've been saying. I go, I don't, I'm trying to figure out what that thing is. It could, it could be, it could be. Oh God, no! I can't. I'm not going to show the account, but I'm looking at the picture, and it's creepy as hell. It's like literally creepy as hell. They're even asking. They're like, "Why do you look like that?" I was like, "Yeah, because it's scary as hell." I don't know how any woman be looking at this going, oh, it's just so sweet with this get creepy asshole with this little baby with this hand on their feet like that. See, that's what I'm talking about. I go, you guys are so stupid. You don't know like their thing. And he has these like kind of longer nails, which um, I don't know. Like what is, I don't know. It's just mm. Cre every little thing's creepy about him. Like, every little nitpicky, the picture, him, poses. I don't know whose baby that is. I don't know if it's his, is it somebody else's. I wouldn't let him near little girls. Only boys came forward. You don't know if he touched them, little girls. He wouldn't be against it. And then he got this dude friend that's flashing horn signs. Yeah, those are the two that I'd be like, stay away from. You know what I mean? You, you cannot tell me you're friends with this dude. And you're like, I didn't catch anything like even remotely creepy about this guy. And he's got like these robotic eyes. It's like freaking scary as hell. You have to see more pictures than the one that they put. Like, they just put this one, and it's, so it's, like, one-dimensional. And it's, like, these other things are giving more of his characteristics in, like, a series. And it's freaking creepy as hell. It is. It totally is. I don't know. I don't understand. And the picture of him with this young girl, our dude, uh-uh. Okay, their family. Their family's, like, hardcore, like, psychotic Christian this is crazy okay it was christian men that actually made it legal they wanted children they had no age of consent they had nothing on consent nothing 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 okay there was no me too one of these days these christian women are going to realize that all those men wanted their children to touch it has nothing to do with the devil or anything else even though you could call them all the devil um that they're just suckers they're just stupid like it's the women going on and on and the guys just sit there like i'm going to touch my kids and being inappropriate and the women are like he wouldn't do anything bad as she's like watching it and they're taking photographs of these inappropriate kind of conduct with their kids i am dead serious i was once a kid we have zero photos of my parents doing any kind of crap like that i would have hit my dad in the face like totally i was that spunky kid i'd be like get away from me Psh! You know, it would be like that. And um, he, the kid was actually literally leaning into the mom because the dad's like up in the kid's ear. And it's like, yeah, your men have been doing that to us against our will. I wonder why we're watching him do it to his own daughters. I was like, yes, there's going to be a major explanation why that guy is raping a bunch of kids. Oh, big time. And it looked like, it literally looked like the last family I had to deal with where, like, the entire family line sexually abuses each other. There was, like, incest in it. And they were trying to touch me and be like, oh, I got some hugs. Like, this shit. And they're all, like, from special, mentally disabled. Like, they're considered mentally disabled. And it might not be autism. It could be... Some other crap, you guys. That's why I was looking at this guy. And I'm like, okay. And then I seen two other people in the family that look. Uh, maybe what they would. I don't know if you would say special needs. It's that they have learning. Like disabilities. Like disabilities where they consider them. Um, disabled. Mentally. But they're not stupid. Like they're not. I mean, they know exactly what they're doing. It's not a thing where they're like. They can't sit there and take care of themselves. 
uh, like they don't trust themselves or something. No, they can't. So then they're very calculated and they do evil stuff. It's like they're the ones that do all that stuff. And they're the ones that were big time religious fundamentalists and psychotic. And they were heavily abusive. Uh, they abused children. And if they were gay, then they would tell them that they need to get the hell out and they're not allowed in their homes. These are the same people, okay? That's what I was just looking at. I have to go look at the background of this because what the hell. And I had a triple check because it said that he lived in a certain place and then those other people in the family living in another place. And I was like, well, if he's living in the place over, you know, somewhere else, then they're going to have to put him to death because that's what they just put on the table. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, triple, triple checking. I go, that's him. The marker by his eyes there. The glasses are there. The, the older picture matches the other older picture that they put up. And he used to be overweight. And that's what they were saying is that the glasses used to be too small for his head. I was like, there can't be two people with that same name that's a creepazoid with children. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe there is, but I was like, it's not. It's not. And I'm pretty sure that's them. I had to make sure because I was like, I could be just trashing some other guy. It's not even him. But technically, no matter what I say on what I was looking at, it would hold the same. It's just, uh, you know, that. So beyond that, I can't show, I'm not showing the accounts or anything like that. I'm not going to show the piece. Some of the people involved in that were a bunch of kids that are, uh, I guess, biologically related to him where it looked inappropriate. There's some questions there. They're just used to it. I don't have any family member doing that to me, um, as far as like the adult men or any, no, I did not like to be, ch I was really funny. I was like, don't touch me wrong, dude. Like, no, uh -uh, I'm not really into this hug thing. Um, yeah, no, I was very much like that. So you wouldn't be seeing me going, oh, and then just letting them be all over my body and shit. That's not me. I was always like, you need to ask consent. Do no, <laughs> like no. But the church was like, you need to go molest those kids. You need to give them physical love and attention, and totally just touch them against their will. It's like no wonder they're all rapists. You know, uh, the whole thing is teaching them like if they want to give a mutual hug, then you give mutual hugs, right? If you're not in the mood for it, then nobody should force one on you. Mostly people you don't know. That was always the creepiest thing. These random people, like, always wanting to touch my face and doing all this shit. No, no kid likes that. Or that, or the ones that go up to you, they're like, you're going to be a real hottie when you grow up. We used to make fun of this, and it's actually creepy. Like, we made fun of it, like, yeah, like the, you would see some guy, and like, somebody our age, right? And they're like, oh, yeah, he's going to be a hottie when he grows up. And it's just like you're already sexualizing them as, like, a minor. And I was, we just got into this habit of, like, making, kind of making fun of it. And then it just makes you sound like a straight-up creep. Like, literally, it, no matter how you slice it. But um, that's because the adult men would continually, like, they don't know that they did those they would continually come up to us and be like, you're going to be a hot one when you turn 18. They're already like, you're already hot now. Like, basically. We made fun of everything. 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 I mean, I don't think there was anything we didn't make fun of. We made fun of names. We made fun of... But just because society was so freaking whack. These, like, strange names that like white people had i don't know names that are not really in use today um and then like oh slut shaming we actually made fun of slut shaming we didn't i didn't i don't recall slut shaming anybody but maybe it had popped out of my mouth once in a while i don't recall doing that but i know that we joked we we would make fun of it and we're like hey slut give me a call like we do this thing um but I don't, I did not run around school calling people sluts and I did not do that. She's a slut. I don't recall doing that. I know we joked between our friends saying shit like that. And I know it was used online a lot and people would say stuff like that. And I was even pointing out, I go, yeah, somebody made a comment that somebody, a celebrity was a slut. And I go, I thought it was that other one. It was like a joke. 
it wasn't me actually call I don't know. It was just like those things are too normalized that even us making fun of it, it kind of normalized like saying these things, just like whatever, like no thought about it. Oh, but these Christian loons, yeah, they're extra special. I mean, really extra special, aren't they? And all your kids are coming out touching children. And you're off reciting the Bible, of all things, which is about touching children. I mean, I don't know, but don't say gay. I'm like, okay, he's going to go for some kids. Uh, no, just sit there and say, like, some guy is going to go prey on children because he's in the closet for being gay is, um, would not be correct in the proper context. I think it has more to do with because of the abuses and maybe that one of the parents, the parent, one of the parents actually could have, uh, sexually assaulted him. And because that family's really close, you guys, they're touching in weird ways that I know I'm not my family. Um, and they, and they think it's normal. And what I'm saying is that is not normal because when I'm looking at it, I'm like, none of us had that, that nobody was going on like that. So then, um, in addition to the whole stay in the closet thing, um, but I don't think it's front. I don't know. There's a lot in that, you guys. There is. Because there's a lot of men that were in the closet that are they are they touching kids? Um, they it would be an overall thing where men generally thought think think that touching kids is fine, um, because they were trying to promote that. Uh, but the but that would be because of that. And then but he goes younger. And I was looking, I was trying to figure this out. I was like, yeah, because he has that baby thing going. But then I did see in the family, they have just like a, a genetic thing going on. Okay, so there is a genetic thing in the family. And so I'm like, well, what is the genetic? Like I'm thinking, right? It's like, what is the genetic thing? How could it, how could it play a part in the mentality that they have? Because the mentality that they have is from learning right it's from something being taught to them it's from the an environmental thing but having a disability of a sort what is it doing to maybe assist in what's going on here if that makes any sense it's like because he could have like a learning disability where it's just like you keep saying no and he's just like um it just doesn't register properly like i don't know but definitely it wouldn't be you know, the disability making him a pedo. <laughs> it's like, no. Making very good educated decisions. Which no sociopath does. I'm like, no sociopath does. But it, it could be like an addition addition to that. I don't know. But it it could have something to do in the, in the part of something of it. But it's not. Definitely not anything to do with him uh, touching kids. Like the action of There's no gene that makes you attracted to kids. The attraction part was important to learn because of how your sexuality develops. Because then it kind of tells you some of the answers to that. Like something had to be in the environment for them to be then their focus of going at kids um, and uh, or them. Yeah, kind of justifying the conduct to do that. Just being a general socio would do that. But, I mean, if it's like they see kids everywhere, they want to harm them. Um, so, it would point to there was an earlier thing where something had happened. The only thing I can get from these cases with this coming up is that they got molested. Those kids got molested and then they okayed it. They enjoyed it and they started targeting a tank of kids afterwards. But not everybody that gets harmed as a kid would turn around and do that. So why does it go one way over the other? That's that's what I was just like. Because maybe the addition is, is the massive abuse come like on top of each other with it. I, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. But that's the junk that's in there. And they need to put all that information out here in the public. So they know the causation. 
It's not from any porn. Sorry, that's not what it's from. Um, but the general um, environment in it and the Bible, the major thing about the Bible, how that is actually part of the causation of those actions right there. And why that would be teaching child abuse, you know, indoctrinating them into acting a certain way or and or suppressing certain things. Um, not letting kids, just the ultra abuse in that, just the, uh, a lot of the conduct in it and teaching male supremacy, which is a huge problem. And they're trying to mute that down. I mean, Whitey owns every platform. So like, why would they not? Because they're a bunch of psychotic abuser rapists. Okay, I was, like, going through stuff. Like I said, one of the guy friends that's pals with him, he, they kept posting sexually explicit content, like, just comments and things that, on Facebook. And they were around a lot of kids. They were around that guy's kids. And then girls, too. So, um, that one right now is just boys coming forward, I guess. But... The, the and the sexually explicit comments are actually for both things they were like gay like kind of joke comments like but being pro like some of these things and then the others were like female stuff and then so their own kids are on their Facebook and I'm just like mm, I think I would vomit if I saw my parents posting crap like that they never did that and I mean we didn't have online stuff but they never uh, talked that way in front of me um, I would vomit. Uh, so, the addition in this, in the December portion, was this. Okay. Okay, here it says they sexually assaulted two of the boys who were between the ages of 7 and 13. Um, at the time between 2000 and 2004. Which is 20 years ago, right? Yeah. But, yeah, between 20, 24, Yeah years ago and this is the kids encountered spotto through his job with the after school program okay and then they hired him as a baby to babysit their kids the two other victims were discovered um after they reanalyzed two inactive cases of sexual assault filed in 2013 and 17. why was nothing done when all these kids are reporting see people report okay i'm just saying people report they do nothing don't say that people don't report. They literally had two cases and made them inactive. One of the victims told authorities, this is what they told the authorities that was inactive in 2013. This is a, this is pissing me off to no end. Okay. They go, um, he had 50 sexual encounters with Spotto between 2000 and 2003. 50. Maybe it was just a thrown out number. They probably were like, how many times do you think you did? He's like, I don't know, maybe 50. I mean, I can't imagine anybody counting that. It's just, you know, you did a lot. Uh, but they're all when they were 9 to 11. And it says another victim told police they were sexually assaulted by him about 100 times. And the victim told authorities Spotto also provide them with alcohol. So that was another addition to that. Multiple victims reported he showed them porn, including one victim who said he showed them a video of himself engaged in sexual activity with an underage male. Well, this is the gay community you need to know that it's not okay to be going after minors. And it was important to actually bring up those topics because due to Christians being how they were back in the day, but there's also a tank of pedo monsters out here as well. And that community does not deserve this kind of crap. And so I think what he did was he kind of like nestled himself into, you know, I love kids, but also I guess into the gay community. Cause I don't know, they're talking about it and being pro, um, you know, pride and everything. They're like, Hey, we're gay males, the pride, gay pride, but we only like kids. Yeah. This thing going on. So then, um, they post, oh uh, yeah, so the kid club said, you know, they're disturbed and saddened. I'm telling you, when I see that guy, I go, there's no way in hell. He looks like a child predator. Even now, like they showed other pictures. I'm like, nope, 
mm -mm, no peace still does no matter what you say to me i'm gonna tell you looks like a child predator and the other guy actually um i can't tell you what his thing is but he's definitely inappropriate and so obviously he wouldn't have an issue with the crap that he does uh yeah it was important i go yeah you're guilty by association you definitely would be here too because i'm looking at it that's why i'm scanning it i'm like let me see everybody involved in this oh they're all idiots okay so and the other thing was in some of the extended fam they're all christian they literally are christian they have they're posting a uh, christian doctrine like the most fundamentalist shit ever and, and I was like, it's so great to see this because that's exactly, the, this is the right pot for it that would come out of it. Show the pictures in between because the picture is so weird. Like if you look at this photo, it looks like two different people, right? But if you go to the, in the see the other account, it's, um, it'll show like an early photo, like similar to that 2001, but then it shows them um, in between this other photo and it's so weird it's like creepy ass i don't know where his glasses went in the new picture but you'll notice a very distinctive mark okay to know that this is them this thing right here okay right by the eye that's all if you ever got raped by this guy and the only thing you ever remembered is you know he had glasses on and this dot right there i'm like you know who it is it's the it's the teardrop rapist no but that's like the significant um thing to them wouldn't that be weird if like the teardrop rape it was like this mark just like that because there was it was like a mark but then other victims said there was like two together and at one point maybe there was only one and they may have gotten an additional one like on the bottom um but this is a case that's similar where it's like this is not a tattoo this is a it looks like a birthmark of some sort so the only way that you would be able to hide this is if you surgically removed it or covered it up with makeup and it's the very distinctive mark this one single thing by his eye there's a couple more he has some on his neck right so you could go straight down that that and there's actually another one over here and let me see if it shows in this thing. Literally, this is the stuff that I look for. It's like something like that. I wouldn't remember all of this. I would remember that. <laughs> it's like, honest to God, it's so weird. I was like, if this guy has a similar name and he doesn't have this thing, then it's probably not him. He wears glasses, but I don't know. He took them off here. Maybe they made him take it off there just for the sake of yeah another thing with him is his eyes um his eyes don't look as creepy in this picture as they do in his other pictures his other pictures are just scary as hell very particular so i'm just saying you need to study these guys' faces like study this guy's face now and if you find the account go look at it and go study those fa the face there you cannot tell me that you would not have been creeped out about him around your kids if you don't get anything from it, then you literally have never crawled out of your house. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like, I can't explain why other people wouldn't be totally creeped the hell out. This picture, yeah, okay. Can I come and take care of your kids? Uh, yeah, no, mm -mm, no. He has pictures of him with little girls. We don't know. Like, a whole bunch of things can come out of this. Like, a bunch of girls can go, oh, he inappropriately touched me. He would inappropriately touch other girls because he's inappropriately being with boys, right? So he wouldn't, um, the mindset here. So he wouldn't sit there and be like, oh, I can't be like this with girls. It's just that he may not have really much of a preference to do stuff with girls, but he still would do conduct that's inappropriate with no care, right? Um, and then some, they have a preference, they have no particular preference. I wouldn't say they all have no particular preference, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't limit that they wouldn't abuse and be inappropriate with any other gender. It's just they have no, they don't, they don't have any moral line here at all. So it's not like they're looking at it going, oh, wow, you know, kissing some kid on the mouth is bad. No, 
like they would sit there and maybe they have a preference to kissing little boys like that is totally cool but they wouldn't be against doing it to girls because they see nothing wrong with it do you see they might think the rest of the people think something's wrong with it but they don't care he don't care He's getting them drunk and doing that stuff. But you have to ask. You have to ask the question, like, who did that to him as a kid? Something happened there. So that's... Oh, and definitely there's a genetic thing going on in that family line. Um, without a doubt. So what happened here? Because as I'm looking at this, they're like, the, there was reports, but it said the detectives reanalyzed two inactive cases. Why did it go inactive? This is my question because the victims told them they all got raped like 150 times. You know, there's like 150 times over here. And for some reason, they're like, oh, I don't know. We're just going to toss it aside. See, I told you I did the investigations in 2014. And they covered up the Nygaard case as well in 2015, right? So people were like going out going, he's a human trafficker. He's a human trafficker. Hey, FBI, he's a human trafficker. And then nobody did anything, right? And then I was trying to go out some other stuff and some of the friends that may be related to that thing over there, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, that just their general conduct. Not that it's like Nygaard doing it to me or something. It's like the conduct of all the pals in this circle of people um, were being hella inappropriate and trying to nab me and trying to send me to their houses and shit like that. Right. That whole other thing. Um and they did not do anything they didn't make arrests on the uh perpetrators that got me here to begin with i was like dude that was in the open that they were with kids just, they promoted it so promoting it doesn't justify harming children so that's why that door was open to me because it was promoted before i was even born dude like what the hell they were raping kids and then they let me get taken by these people I was like, and then to sit there and even question that that even happened. That is definitely not a case where you go, oh, these guys never. I was like, yeah, no, these guys for sure. Um, but and that and that and that boss there thinks that a 12 year old can make a choice and consent. They told their kids that, obviously, because they're like, you know, kids, you have a choice to say no peer pressure well you know that peer pressure is called um coercion which is part of rape so when you're trying to coerce a kid into doing something um it's also rape so ha, a kid cannot consent no matter what and a 12 year old definitely not i don't know why he was going on in the media like that but i love how he could say something like that and everybody just goes yeah totally a 12 year old can consent I'm like, and he's saying it to, I think generically, which I almost think he was saying it to boys. Um, I was like, yeah, I hope that nobody thinks that a 12 year old can ever consent to any of that crap. Uh, but he does. So the way he views me, I'm pretty cer certain is that um, I can consent to some adult doing something against my will who I never met in my life. Because there was no action from them. So if you actually were against like predators like this, you would be the first one out here going, oh my God, that guy's fired. We're going to get him arrested. And I'm so sorry this happened to you. No. And I'm not the only one a victim in that ring of people. Nope. Those other girls are too. Just different people in the ring. Different people in the ring, but they're all friends. And they're all fine with children. That's the that's problem with those guys. They got away with it all in the 60s and the 70s, and they go after little kids. It's like, what would I be doing with a 70-year-old out here, you guys? You know what I mean? Things like that. 50, 60. At the, well, I mean, back then, their lawyers are old. I'm like, their lawyers are old, and their lawyers are way down with the kids, too. That's the crazy thing about it. So I was like, don't even bother with that, because they're all involved together. I was trying to figure out, like, what the hell is Middletown Township in Bucks County? You search it, and right away, it's like Kidsville. I wouldn't trust any guy up in here. The size of the town is kind of like this, the, uh, I would say about close to the population of my hometown when I was growing up. That's what it says in 2018. So it means it's like, um, 
kind of small but you know what it's surrounded by a lot of other cities so maybe it's like totally different from our hometown because our outskirts is was all country so it's almost like you only know the people in town and then if you didn't know somebody somebody knew them or it was kind of that thing but um here it's all for kids look at that it says the country splash castle there's all these like vapor trail things all this the uh, big birds tour bus it's a place for kids. I mean, if you want to raise some kids, I, I, you know what? I wouldn't want to move somewhere where it's like specifically like really kid friend, like overly kid friendly, because I'm going to expect this guy everywhere. They're going to be waiting for your kids, dude. They're attracted to that shit. Um, I'm just trying to figure out why a city that's so geared towards children would sit there and totally ignore two major reports of this guy doing stuff in 2013 i would question the people that looked at the case initially that they're into kids because there's no good exp explanation for it other than the rapists that do not want to go after these guys that's what i'm saying they put us all in danger and then they just threw it aside and then so what it means is is that from that point on whenever it was reported as they're talking between 2013 and whenever then he still can continue on um, harming children. He, there's tons of pictures of him with kids I could throw up. Even a case like where somebody had an incident, let's say in a bathroom, some perpetrator came in and took off. Those are all bad. Every single one of these cases is bad. It's a case where they told him, I got raped over a hundred times. And they're like, mm, we're just going to put it aside. Dude. I would literally find who put that aside and throw them in prison for being pedos themselves. That's disgusting. Why would you put it inactive? They've all been doing this, okay? It, this is just the thing. But this case is actually kind of extra special because it literally has like a large number of rapes. And he had child porn and he was showing them child porn of him raping another kid. Who's that kid? Like, there's a lot to it. I was like, well, why didn't they bust him and try to get his phone? Like, where did they, where's that? They could have got him on those charges. They could have done a million things here. It's like one of those cases where there's like so much in it. They, why would you put it inactive? They don't need, okay, I want to point out something. Okay, so I guess part of their excuse maybe in this portion. They're like, some of the crimes first came to light in 2013. Well, somebody reported something if it came to light in 2013. But investigators at the time said the victims weren't ready to come forward. Okay, well, you don't need the victims. Mostly, if somebody was alleging a child porn or they could have looked for the child porn in his house, they could have done, they could have done, they could have done, oh my God. They, they could have done a lot of things here without the victims to inquire to see if these things exist on its own. Um, you wouldn't need them, right? Because if you found something and it had a victim in it, mm. I don't get it. Like, I don't. I don't know how you sit there. This is the conduct that shouldn't be going on. You don't need the victims. I'm going to say that. You really don't. You shouldn't. You should not need the victims in order to go after a perpetrator, even if they don't want to comply. Really. I mean, mostly when there's other things that you can go off of, such as child porn, which you guys just said, and there was another victim in that. And so then at that point, it's like the, the victim is a victim it's like you can't it's proof on video you know some of those things right they keep doing this it's like even with that doctor thing i was like i reported the doctor is a predator and they're like we're just gonna leave it like that it's like dude you just let them go and do things everybody else you got the once you get a tip like that it, like, look at it as a tip it's like, it, it would be like someone calling in a chip going, oh, you know, I know these people over there murdered somebody. Well, they would totally look into it. They wouldn't sit there and go, ah, inactive. I mean, if they did that, they're insane. But it's like, if you look at it like that, you know, oh, we have a tip that this guy is raping a bunch of kids. So what are the things that we can do to try to figure that out? The pictures are disgusting, you guys. Like, just him in public, just generally with kids, it's just, Vomitous, vomitous, vomitous. Every case that's like this, I always look at their stuff if they have anything online, and it's always creeps, creepy city. And I don't understand how people look at it and they start posting all these comments like, oh, how cute. 
how cute with you and the kids. It's like, oh, there's nothing wrong with this guy's holding everybody else's kids or other people's kids and doing all this crap. And it's like, that's basically their whole social media. Yeah, that's been like that with a lot of these guys. June. I just said the public, I cannot deal with them. I can't, I can't deal with law enforcement. I can't deal with the public. See, now the readback is annoying because they go, once law enforcement knew that he was in the community and the level of his victimization and his predatory actions, we had to move swiftly. I was like, you literally got information in 2013. It's um 2024 now. I don't know. That's I guess that to them is swiftly. But for victims coming forward, they say, why, this, why, why now? Why so late, dude? It's like this swiftly for them is like 50 years. But swiftly, you know, they, they expect us to be there like the next day. Yeah, so it says he had access to children within the last year through volunteering. Um, They fear there have been more victims. Yeah, I, I have a feeling it's not just males. There's a lot of females up in here, too. So, uh, yeah. But the way the other guy's dad is acting i was like i see some normalization here and they're not going to come for that's the problem if your dad's being a total pervert and then their friends are being then they look at it as isn't that what they all do <laughs> i was like oh my god yeah the dad is the friend of his so um yeah they were being inappropriate for sure yeah aren't they all I don't think I've met a together guy. <laughs> I was like a together guy, but them doing that actually makes that situation work. It's them going, what? We don't see anything wrong. I'm sitting here talking sexually in front of children. And I'm letting this stranger guy like totally touch you. Go ahead. You can touch my kids. Um, Did you have any problems? Um, No, dad. I'm there. He always touched me that way. I don't know. It's just something that's going to be there. You have to say it like this, because even your dad can be guilty of this. You go, did anybody talk sexually inappropriate in front of you as a kid? Adults are not supposed to be doing that. Not even your own parents. And so, mm, their conduct right there is really gross. No. And I don't even know why we allow all these guys to be going on like that anyway, just generally, because the level of degrading their daughter in the middle of that, or their daughters, you should say daughters, because they have a lot of kids, daughters, um, is <laughs> just unreal. And then their conduct in the middle of that and thinking they're funny. That's, that's, that's the problem. That's the big time problem. We had no idea. It's like, oh, let's take a look at you. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was that. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, they had him starting to work at age 15. So he was around a bunch of kids at age 15. And you know what we said about that teen part when it's too late and that's when it shows up right there. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, I was thinking about it and I was like, 97. And I just sat there and did some math. I was like, ooh, yeah, because he was born in 1982. Yeah, they're already a rapist long before they even get out of school. Any of that.